you know, as a victim of crime, you've just experienced trauma. You've just lived trauma um, and unexpected trauma. There was no preparation. There was no time to prepare for this. At the flip of a switch, your whole life has changed. The way you see the world, the way you interact with the world, the way you live to your day-to-day -day life has changed. Um, and so often um, on, at a crime scene, it's hectic. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of pieces that need, uh, need to fit together. Um, you know, officers need information, detectives need information, and they're, and they're doing their jobs and they're doing it really, really well. Um, but oftentimes that settles everybody leaves, everybody goes home, and now that victim's there. And they're, maybe they're by themselves, maybe they have supportive family, um, but it settles and they're left there with this huge trauma that has occurred um, and they don't know where to go and they don't know what to do. And so they need that support, that guidance to help them get through this and to say, okay, what's our next step? And it may be simple. Maybe their next step is just reaching out to a friend and they're not interested in support, but they just need somebody to talk to. They just need somebody to listen to them and say, I'm here for you. I got you. I'm on your side. What are your needs? We'll get through this together. My role is to support victims of crime um, after they have experienced that traumatic event. Uh, so what this looks like is giving them a call on the phone, um, introducing myself, um, and then just getting a good feel for their needs and what kind of support they need right now in this moment. Um, we have so many wonderful providers in the city that do their jobs really, really well. So my role is to really be that connector, that crisis intervention. What do you need in this moment? Let me help, let me help call on your behalf. Um, and then, you know, let me check back up with you in a few days and make sure we got you connected. And let me check back up with you in a week and make sure you're still in contact with them. Um, and just being that person that walks by their side throughout the whole process. So for me, uh, before this job, I was a high school social worker um, and I loved my job. It was, it was the best and I loved the kids and, and I think about them often. But in my work, I a lot of times saw my kids, my students who were victims of crime. They were victims and oftentimes um, they were being pulled left and right, you know, detectives were coming to the school and they needed this information um, or, you know, they needed to show up to this court date and, and give their side. But I never saw anybody stop and say to them, what do you need? And so I had kids that would come into my office and they would take a two hour nap because they were so anxious that they had to um, go to court today. They had to go to court today. They couldn't sleep last night. And so now they're sleeping in my office because nobody was taking the time to consider their needs. Um, and so that really spoke to my heart. And when this position opened, I was like, this is it. This is what needs to be done. We need to have somebody who is, who is the fighter for these people, who is gonna say, I'm on your side, I got you, and we'll get through this together. My name is Alexandra Boone and I am the Victims Assistance Coordinator.